You're here at the conference to discuss the latest results from a clinical trial. Mm -hmm. uh, what have you clinically tested on your krill? Uh, so we compared uh, bioavailability of krill oil to fish oil and to placebo. We looked at the absorption of EPA and DHA and omega-3 in the blood of healthy subjects from uh, North America. The study was uh, done in Canada. And uh, we looked, we compared the absorption in the blood. We looked at plasma and red blood cells, and we compared the absorption after consumption of krill for four weeks and fish oil for four weeks. Uh, another important thing about our study is that we have used krill oil and fish oil that have the exact amount of omega-3 in both treatments, which was also not done before. And why did you choose that design? Well, then, because you can't, if you want to run a, a clinical study and you want your results to be significant and you want to learn something from this test, you have to compare apples to apples. Mm -hmm. So you have to have the two treatments equal in order to learn if one of them is absorbed better. And also the study was held to the highest standards, being a double-blind, placebo-controlled, randomized study. And therefore, of course, the treatment had to be identical so people will not know what treatments they are receiving. Mm -hmm. and so what are the main results from that trial and, and what sort of implications can we take away from for everyday well, life? Well, as I said, I, I'm, I unfortunately cannot discuss the results uh, right now because they're still confidential. But I can only say that the results were quite striking. Uh, uh, Creole oil was shown to be superior to fish oil in almost every parameter. And uh, I think this is an indication that Creole oil is more beneficial to your health. And if anyone is interested in increasing their omega-3 index, they should definitely be taking Creole oil.